there we go those wool pellets are all strapped down and good morning to you joining my vlog today and I know it's been a while guys um, and honestly I wish I could say that our spirits are high on the farm today but sadly that's just not the case um, you know we've been on this farm for a couple years now and although we're not hurting um, we're not doing bad most of our income is being made on grapes and honey um, now there's there's nothing wrong with that and also we will be getting income from the sheep we're going to be loading up all the wool and selling that finally so we still have one two three four five six and a half uh, pallets to go John being the very nice guy he is let us borrow his his truck here so we don't have to make too many trips and uh, yeah it's been a uh, it's been a rough go at it the fact of the matter is that I, I never I never really planned on just being an animal well an animal a sheep just a sheep farmer and uh, you know vineyard and, and keeping bees but that's kind of the hand that we've been dealt and we have not had rain for a very long time and uh, if we take a look at the forecast so we have rain coming on Wednesday Friday and Saturday Sadly, it's just, uh, it's too late. It's just, it's not enough. So, as you can see, we have a pallet, oh, not even a pallet and a half. Not even a pallet and a half. But we will get those out of there and we will sell those. I have to feed my sheep. And we also have a job to do for Regis today, which we hadn't done work for him in a while. But he says that he wants us to stop by his place first. Because he has to uh, talk to us about the job, I guess. So we will take a ride over there and see what it is that he he's going to need. Okay. So uh yeah. I don't I don't really know what to say. <laughs> uh I don't really know what to do. Like I say, I don't feel that the farm itself has been a failure. Um we're not in debt, so that's good. And uh you know, but we're definitely a failure as an arable farm. That's uh that's what I will say. But, we still have work to do. We still have work to do. We have a winter to get through. So, we need to cut some grass. We need to make some more hay. To make sure our sheep will make it through the winter. Although, I I don't have any doubt in my mind that they will. We have quite a bit of hay left over. We still have those big bales that we haven't used yet. But, it doesn't hurt to have a little more. Okay, that's done. So we're going to grab the broom. We're going to clean up our other sheep pen. And next time I see you guys, I'll probably be doing some mowing. Just close this gate here. Huh. There we go. And as you can see over there, 
Well, we'll take a run over there real quick and take a look at this. Um, I don't know what happened. It went from growing to harvested. It didn't say fail to germinate. So, I have no idea what happened, but, uh... Yeah. That's, uh... Another failed field. But, we can't cry over that forever, so... Let's get this mowing done. didn't take us very long at all this uh this tractor i forget that it works at a pretty fast speed and our sheep are kind of doing a magic trick there so that's all done and that looks almost like the hay Of course, it's not going to tell me. Let's see here. Grass, grass. Okay. But, we will let that dry for a bit. This should be ready by tomorrow. Nope. Open the gate back up. tight getting out of there so we'll put the mower back we'll hop in the truck we'll go over to Regis's and see what he has to say Okay, so that was a pretty interesting little chat that I had with Regis, actually. Um, for starters, what he wanted was that uh, I need to cultivate his field. I believe field 2022? 20, Jeez, I just spoke with him and I already forgot. <laughs> That's what being 40 does to you guys. But, uh, yeah, he wants me to cultivate his field, but there's a cultivator up to the store that I can use that he has ready for me and then we just got kind of talking about you know my issues with the farm and no rain and uh, you know not growing crops and uh, he actually said that he wants to talk to me in the morning and he seemed to kind of hint at um, I don't know, doing something that will be beneficial to the both of us, so I'm not really sure what that's about, but we will definitely see him in the morning and find out what, uh, what it is he has in mind. But in the meantime, we are going to go up to the store, we're going to grab the cultivator, and we're going to do that job.
And again, we do have to sell that wool. Uh, if we don't get it sold today, uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Jean doesn't care that we have his truck. He, uh, you know, he's been nothing but a very good friend to us while we've been here in France. And, uh, I really appreciate his friendship. And I actually forgot that I have some manure that I have to pick up at the store as well. Possibly what I'll do is when I sell the wool, I'll load the manure up on the truck and I'll bring it back. That is what I think I will do. We'll just go around the back here. So you can come out front and hook up on to the cultivator. And there it is right there. Perfect. Yeah, there's our manure. on our way. All right, so here it is, field 22. Let's unfold this. Drop her down and get this job done. That job is done. And we just did say that when we're done with it, to just return it back to the store, which is what we're going to do now. And I do believe the animal dealer is closed now, so... Not the animal dealer, the, uh, the spinnery. The spinnery is closed now. So I will return this and head on back to the farm. I don't really have anything more I have to do today. And tomorrow morning we have that meeting with Regis, so that ought to be interesting. I'm I'm really curious as to what what his idea is.
Alright guys, so I'm gonna head in the house, I'm gonna grab myself some dinner, and relax for the evening. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you sometime tomorrow. Okay, so we just had our meeting with Regis, and uh, I'm sitting out on his bench, and uh, I'm I'm a little dumbfounded, guys, I gotta tell ya. Um, so, it seems that Regis had a proposal to offer us. Um, he offered to buy my land, all of it, the whole farm, all the uh, all the land that I have, which isn't a lot. Um, also buy any machinery that I didn't want. And also, he has offered me a farm in the UK. Um, I believe he said it's in Devon. So, uh, I'm a little dumbfounded. Uh, yeah. So, basically, he, uh, he really wants to farm. And, uh, I mean, the fact that he's going to, like, technically give us another farm is kind of odd. Um, he also said something about giving us around 500000 for our farm. That would be the property and uh, any, any machinery that we don't want. Um, so this is a big decision. This is a very big decision. Um, I really... I really enjoyed my time here in France. The people are so nice. The other farmers have been fantastic. Jean, you know, he's like, he's almost like family now. I mean, and Regis, Regis himself has been uh, very generous and, and very kind and a, a very, a very good guy. Um, so I did say to him, uh, would it be okay if I went out and checked this farm to see what the farm uh, looks like and, and see what I'll be getting into and see if it's something that I'm up for the challenge of handling. And he said yes. So I am going to go talk to the wife, tell her about it, and see what she says. And then I think later today I will probably make the seven or eight hour drive up there and check out the farm check out the area and see what's going on but honestly it, it sounds like a good deal it sounds like one of those too good to be true things and uh, you know how something that sounds too good to be true if it is you know then it, it's if it sounds too good to be true then it usually is too be good, too good to be true ah ah I gotta get out here I'm uh, I'm I'm still a little surprised at the offer I mean, it seems a little strange to me, but also I feel like I'd be crazy to pass it up. So, yeah, I'm going to hop in and I'm going to talk to the wife about it and we'll see what happens. All right, we talked about it, and it seems like uh, we are in agreement that I'm going to go and I'm going to check the farm out. I'm going to see what it looks like, see, uh, you know, what it's all about. And uh, if I like it, then I believe I'm going to take the deal. Uh, now, we still have a lot to do around here. We have to get rid of that wool. I need to figure out what I want to bring with me. Um, you know, if we do this, the John Deere is definitely coming with me. Uh, the Massey is definitely coming with me. Um, I may sell the Ferguson. I'll probably sell that tractor. Um, maybe the Bison. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see what's at that farm and, and what I'm getting. And we'll take it from there. But uh, I still have some stuff to do around here. I need to take care of my sheet before I do anything. And that's where I think we're going to end the video for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that I'm 
kind of sad about the farm not working out the way I hoped it would. But uh, who knows? Bigger and better things might be on the horizon. So, thank you for watching. I surely do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. And possibly <laughs> we'll be somewhere else. I think I will do a vlog on that trip to, uh, to show you guys the farm as well. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see you then, guys.